Good day, everyone. Meteorologist Mark Muller here. How's everybody getting along? Well, we've got a major winter storm, nor'easter, to start off the week here. Yep, later Monday into Tuesday. And look how it's going to form off the coastline here. It is going to be a tremendous storm. It's going to bomb out here, and it's actually going to retrograde back towards the coast later Tuesday into Wednesday. So we're going to get all the details of this storm to see exactly how much snow totals could fall and where we're likely to see close to blizzard-like conditions as 30 to 45 mile per hour wind gusts kick in with this storm. Look at that on the 500 millibar overlay here. That is going to be quite some storm across the northeast, and you see it doesn't start to pull away until later Wednesday. And we're also going to analyze your future radar here as this storm unfolds. We'll go through the exact timeline of what's actually going to be happening with this storm and what areas are going to be targeted for the heftiest snowfall accumulations. Look at that. Look how that blasts and blossoms right on the backside. Zooming out here, you can see the big old comma head forming right off the coastline, signifying an intensifying nor'easter. All right, so my official snowfall map, and then I'll show you some model analysis of snowfall totals and the timeline future radar of this storm. Yeah, if you live into parts of the Catskills and the Poconos here, you're going to see that 12 to 18, and then in the red here, 18 to 24, locally higher here in the eastern Catskills, just west of the Hudson Valley into the 24 to 30 inch range. Now, the lower Hudson Valley here towards Orange County, southward here, you'll likely see 6 to 8 inches, but look at this, just northwest of you, you quickly get into 8 to 12, and then 12 to 18 here into the lighter pink, as well as extreme northeastern Pennsylvania from Binghamton down to Wilkes-Barre, Scranton. You're going to be on that edge between 8 to 12 inches, 12 to 18 inches. I think you'll see a solid 10 to 14 inches, depending on your elevation here. The 6 to 8 inch line, I've included most of the southern Poconos here back towards Elmira. Definitely could see you getting 6 to 8 inches here into northern New Jersey as well. And look at back towards southern part of Syracuse here, south into the hilltops. You could get Closer to that 12 to 18 inch mark here, 8 to 12 inches back towards the northern Finger Lakes as you get some lake enhancement here on the backside. Now, as we get into New England, Boston, it's going to be complicated, but probably end up with 6 to 8 inches. West of you towards Worcester, probably a foot and a half, you know, a foot to foot and a half easily. Just north of you and into the mountains here of southern Vermont, western Massachusetts, you're quickly getting into that you know, one to two feet locally higher amounts here towards 30 inches in those highest terrain. Concord, you're at 8 to 12 inches. Portland as well. But between you here and the interior parts of New Hampshire and Maine, you're going to see 12 to 18 inches. Bangor, you're at 8 inches. But look at that. The whole northern state of Maine here, 3 to 6 inches. Unfortunately, for people who want snow in New York City, Cape Cod, southern Connecticut, Rhode Island, you're basically going to be you know, in that two to three inch range. I think mostly from New York City, probably an inch or two. Parts of Long Island, an inch or two on the wraparound you'll get behind the storm here. Um, but definitely we're watching the snowfall here on the southern edge of the Poconos Catskills. I definitely think that is something to watch as well if we get some wraparound. But yeah, the Hudson Valley is going to be interesting. Albany, you probably see a solid foot, but around you probably closer to 18 inches around that higher terrain. So definitely interesting. And as we get back towards parts of Cleveland here, you probably see two to four inches, but northeast of you, watch out, three to six inches, and then southeast of Erie and Buffalo, probably closer to six inches. All right, so comparing that to the European run here, take a look at this. So this is taking us from later Monday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday for that matter. So yeah, the big areas that I'm highlighting here, Definitely going to see that foot to two feet potential here. It is crazy, uh, the widespreadness of this winter storm. Big nor'easter here across the northeast. You can see some areas picking up here in the Catskills. A foot, do I dare say it, up to 30 inches in some of these areas. And taking a look at the latest GFS run here. Our snowfall totals, yeah, it's actually looking pretty close to the European model here. Take a look at this, yeah, the bullseyes here just west of the Hudson Valley and parts of the eastern Catskills. You see over here in the parts of southern Vermont, Massachusetts again. So yeah, this is going to be a big nor'easter. Unfortunately for you people who want snow down here in the parts of New York City, Long Island, New Jersey, it's just not looking that decent. All right, so taking a look at our future radar here, the good old HRRR. 
Well, let's take a look here. We've got a system here across the southeast, and I'll be showing you momentarily on the surface maps, and then our big shortwave up here into parts of the Midwest. Now, these are going to be the two players that come together off the coastline. They're going to move in this general fashion, and they're going to meet up here right along the coast. So let's continue with the timeline here, see how exactly how this unfolds. So we go throughout the rest of Sunday night into Monday. See how this is going to play out. Now, we're going to start to have snowfall here into parts of Cleveland, north of Pittsburgh, over by Erie, and State College. See how this kind of unfolds. Rain there, mostly in Harrisburg. Now, look at this. As we head throughout the night, this is going to be mostly a mushy, wet snow to start out. So, this is not going to really accumulate to too much heading on into Monday morning. You can see it looks worse than it really is. We're lining up the snow here across places like Syracuse, Binghamton. The valleys will probably be as rain here. You see the Susquehanna River Valley. This is kind of uh, signifying that we're going to have some rainfall. But let's get into the actual meat of the storm here. So as we continue throughout the day Monday, this is by 4 p.m. You can see we're still majority rainfall here. Catskills, Poconos, mostly the Hudson Valley. Look at this, yeah. Down and through this section just northwest of New York City. We're still rain, but look at the big old moisture plume that goes all the way down to Florida here. This is some big old Gulf tropical moisture and some Atlantic moisture. Then we have the short wave. Look at this. We got some big time snow squalls moving through Cleveland. This is 4 p.m. Monday afternoon, so we're really going to start to get into some heavy snow here. That's going to start energizing this system along the coast. Let's continue to put this into motion. Look at this. Yeah, we start to see as this low pressure system weakens back here over parts of the Ohio Valley. Still getting snow squalls in Cleveland. Probably likely see two to four inches. Erie, Buffalo, you're kind of winding down a little bit. But look what's starting here. The big old area in the northeast that's going to see the most snowfall. We see some heavy snow. This is 10 p.m. It's really going to start to pick up. And the radar during this time is going to be coming out of the southeast so the moisture plume there's going to be an area of a trough of low pressure attached to this low pressure down here off of Long Island and it's going to enhance these snowfall accumulations into parts of upstate New York extreme northeast Pennsylvania here so let's continue to put this radar into motion here across like the eastern Catskills lower Hudson Valley you'll start as rain but watch this yeah, head towards 2 a.m. Tuesday morning. Look what starts to fill in here. So, right along I-81 from Syracuse down to Binghamton and Wilkes-Barre Scranton here. This is where you're going to see from this point eastward here and northeastward. Look at this. You're going to see snow. Heavy, heavy snow in this area. Now, look at here. We got snowfall moving, rain snow line moving east throughout the early morning hours as we head towards 2 a.m. Now watch how this kind of moves to the east here. Look at this. And you see on the back side, this is towards 6 a.m. So let's just back this up just a few frames. You can actually see 4 a.m., Look at this. It's a classic comma head here. This is where the wind is really going to start picking up here out of the northwest as well. So the snowfall ratios, it'll start out as heavy wet snow. It'll translate to blowing and drifting snow. And it's really going to start to pick up here. Places like Binghamton, Scranton, Albany, the Catskills, Poconos. You'll start mixing out, eventually changing to snow here in parts of the eastern Catskills lower Hudson Valley. Look at this. You're still rain over here, mostly in New England. Concord, you are ha starting as heavy snow. So let's put this into motion and you can see how this is going to unfold here. Look at this. This is 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m. So the snow, the back edge of the snow is going to proliferate all the way back here towards Buffalo, Williams Sport. So we're going to see some, you know, lighter accumulations in here, but we're still going to see accumulations. And look at here. This kind of pivots towards the southwest. You can see all this snow, heavy snow bands setting up here in the parts of Sy uh, just south of Syracuse, parts of Oneonta, Binghamton area, Scranton. And look at here. Yeah, this is where things get real here across the lower Hudson Valley. We're starting to change over to snow by this point. Sleep pellets over to snow. So we're going to start to pile up the accumulations here. And look at this. We're going to see this rain snow line drift to the southeast. Just follow me here with this. We got our last few frames. Look at this. This is 9 a.m. on Tuesday morning. Look at this. Yeah, this is going to be rapidly intensifying low pressure system right near New York City. You can see that is going to be 
it's going to be tremendous moisture here coming in from New England, and it's going to be wrapping around here the Susquehanna River Valley, Catskills, Poconos region, Adirondacks. It's going to be a crazy time here on Tuesday, and those snowfall rates will really be piling up. And look at this. Yeah, we're going to even get snow showers here all the way down to parts of yeah, New Jersey. We're not going to see like tremendous accumulations in this area, but I still think we'll see a coating. But the key here is northeast of here. I mean, this is where we're really going to get some quite some heavy snow totals here. And look at this. This is actually intensifying 11 a.m. So you, you make it to work or school and look at that. Yeah, this is going to be a tremendous amount of snow here into the white. And look at this. Much of the state of Massachusetts, Connecticut, you're still rainfall teetering right on the edge of that rain snow line. But I think pretty confident you're going to fill in as well. Look at this. Last few frames. There's noon on Tuesday. Look at this. Yeah, we could have some heavy snow bands all the way down to New York City. So I haven't taken you out of an inch or two here in New York City. Long Island, you look at, you're still at rain by this point. Look at this. This is, the HRRR is kind of indicating the trough is going to set up right in this area. That's going to enhance all that heavy snow action. And then look at the Hudson Valley, depending on where you are. It's going to be really interesting to see how this unfolds. And as you can see, yeah, there's that rain snow line. So yeah, things are going to be quite interesting here with this storm. This is a definitely probably the most interesting storm we've seen all winter long. Let's go to the last few frames here. Look at this. Start to wrap around that moisture coming in. This doesn't go out to the entire storm. This ends at 2 p.m. Tuesday afternoon. So this doesn't even get us through the entire storm. I'm going to rely on the other models to get us through here. But look at this. Yeah, you're going to be looking at two areas of very heavy snow here. All right, so taking a look at the GFS here, there is our system. We'll kind of pick up where we left off here. Take a look at this. So this does a pretty good, the models are pretty much agreeing with each other. There is 2 p.m. on Tuesday. So there it is. We got that heavy snow lining up just like we saw the HRRR. And let's see. You start to really start to pull it out Tuesday evening. You know, we're ending a snow here just north of New York City, places like the eastern Catskills, Hudson Valley, northern New Jersey. Look at the heavy, we're over to heavy snow over to Connecticut, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Cape Cod, all the way up to Maine here. So, yeah, it's mainly going to be a southern Maine storm here. Northern Maine, you're going to pick up like two to four, three to six inches of snow. But south of this line is where you're going to pick up the six to eight and then parts of Maine here towards just north of Portland, you're probably going to pick up closer to a foot of snow here. So the, uh, this low is going to really wind up here um, off the coastline and start to retrograde a little bit. But look at that. It almost looks like it almost looks like a hurricane there in the Gulf of Maine. And look at there it is retrograding a little bit and filling in as it's occluding and becoming a little weaker. And then it kind of barrels out to sea there. And as we head towards the medium term, there's our next system closer to the weekend, Friday into the weekend. It's mostly rain event here across the Northeast. All right, so we're taking a look at the European model here. Let's take a look. There's our system. This is Monday just after noon. So, yeah. What we got going on, there's our short wave there across northern Ohio. Let's watch this unfold here, and I'll be briefly zooming in on the northeast here. Look at this. This is late afternoon Monday, early evening. We start to see that evidence there of that snowfall starting here in the Hudson Valley, parts of the Catskills, Poconos. There's our intensifying low-pressure system, and let's see how this unfolds. So, yeah, we got that first part of the storm really starting to intensify here over parts of the northeast, western New England. And this latest European run has it kind of over there, up upstate New York. There you can see the inverted trough here just forming. It's a little bit north here as it, than it was onto the HRRR model. Interesting to note there. And then look at that. You start to see it pivot later in the day. So places like the Susquehanna Valley, Catskills, and Poconos, I think your heavy accumulations will occur later in the day on Tuesday. See how that starts to pivot there? You have basically, it almost looks like two areas of low pressure, but it isn't. This is an inverted trough that's uh, situated with this secondary low and then the main low pressure system here so it's really interesting very complex winter storm we have here across the northeast now let's zoom in all right so let's take a look here see how this unfolds there is monday 
Let's take it right around noon, 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m. here. See, you have a mixture of rain and snow, but this is that moisture plume that's going to continue. There's our short wave there across Ohio, so you're bringing a couple inches of snow here to parts of northern Ohio especially. But look at this. See how things really start to get cranking Monday night into early Tuesday morning. You start to get some heavier snow here in the parts of the Hudson Valley, parts of the Catskills, Poconos, Binghamton. You're still at moderate to late snow as is Syracuse, Albany. You're right on the edge of mixture here. Most of southeastern New England is rain at this point, but look at how the European model blossoms and gets this uh, colder air in here locked in quicker. Uh, and you can see some heavier snow totals setting up here across parts of the Hudson Valley. Snowfall rates will really start to intensify by mid-morning here on Tuesday. Now look at this. There is the low pressure system. It's a little bit further east than it was on the HRRR, but you can see there's our axis of troughiness here, the inverted trough. And that's where, where that does set up is where we're going to see the snow enhanced up here into upstate New York, northeastern Pennsylvania. By this time, we're still seeing some rain here in parts of southern New England, bringing in some warmer air at the surface. But look at this. This trough really starts getting going just as you're trying to get out of work here in the parts of the Susquehanna River Valley, Catskills, Poconos, Hudson River Valley. Yeah, you're going to start to see this snow take over, maybe switching over to snow here in the parts of New York City, but that will mostly be mixing with some rain at times. And look at this. As we get throughout the early morning hours of Wednesday, we start to taper it off here into New York and Pennsylvania and New Jersey. But look at this. This storm just occluding and it's filling in at this point. So we'll still have some lighter snows here and, a, and moderate snows in the parts of New England here as the system starts to pull away from the northeast for your Thursday. All right, so let's take a look at the upper air heights here anomalies. You can see that storm going into Tuesday here. Watch how negatively tilted this becomes. It's quite a big producer of wintry weather here. Major blocking, you know, not tremendous blocking, but major blocking up here in Greenland. That's going to keep that storm retrograding. You can see how it kind of just fills in here. This is Wednesday. So yeah, it's retrograding a little bit back towards Cape Cod here and just fills in and we continue to have that moisture wrapping around it. You can see that pulls out for the end of the week. You can see warming trend with rain taking over for the weekend, but look what replaces it. Now, this is not too worrisome for any snowstorms because this is a... This is not a negatively tilted trough here. This is just a frontal boundary moving through, so it'll get a little bit colder here, but, you know, it brings us towards a warming trend next week. We see that firecracker ridge trying to build back in. All right, so let's take a look at total liquid equivalent precipitation here. Yeah, this is quite a big old mess here into the northeast. Look at this. This is a lot of liquid equivalent. It's almost as much here as in parts of California, although California definitely continuing to win the award for tremendous rain and snow accumulations here. Let's zoom into the northeast. All right, so let's getting into the northeast here. Here's your liquid equivalent totals out of the storm. Yeah, it, a lot of this especially inland, is going to fall as snow. And that's why we're very concerned here. Look at this. Yeah, it's a widespread inch to inch and a half. So, you know, ten, if you take standard 10 to 1 snowfall ratios, you know, that's 10 to 15 inches of snow. That's a lot of snow. But you get into these areas that are in the red shading. This is 2 plus inches. This could tremendously mean that we could be seeing snowfall totals over 20 inches in some of these areas. Now, of course, closer to the coastline, we're going to see some, you know, mixing originally. So some of a lot of this is going to be uh, in the form of rain or mixed precipitation initially and then changing to snow. But this is a lot of liquid equivalent out of this storm. All right, so let's take a look at wind gust analysis. We're going to start off, let's back this up to Monday. So Monday, yeah, we're already kicking into the low 20s here across parts of southern New England. But as the precipitation starts to fall later Monday night, and there's Tuesday morning. Look at this. In the snowfall, especially in northeast Pennsylvania, southern tier of New York, and then western parts of New England. This is where we're going to start to see gusts closer to 30 miles an hour. You bring in that snow, that's going to be a lot of blowing and drifting snow. Now, look at this. This is right around noon on Tuesday. Look at this. Yeah, this is a lot of wind. You know, high, you know, this is wind gusts here in eastern Pennsylvania, closer to the high 40s. And if we have any snowfall falling there right around Wilkes-Barre, Scranton up to Binghamton, that's going to be close to blizzard-like conditions into parts of western Massachusetts and uh, southern Vermont as well. And even the Hudson Valley here, we're going to start to get into it here in the Catskills and Poconos too. Watch as we bring this storm up. 
You know, many areas in the red here are getting close to 50. Look at this. This is insane. So, yeah, this is heading into Wednesday or Tuesday night into early Wednesday morning. Look at this. This is a large area that's going to be seeing wind gusts in the 30 to 45 mile per hour range. So, it's going to be blowing and drifting that snow. And that is the big concern uh, that some areas may potentially come close or achieve blizzard like conditions. And this system is going to be very windy. Look at this Thursday. This is early Thursday morning. We don't start to bring those wind levels down until we get to midday Thursday. All right, so let's start off with the temperature analysis of the storm. Look at this. We're warming up Sunday, and then look at that, crashing back down for Monday morning. But look at that. We're quickly warming. Uh, now, this is towards you know sunset on Monday here. Take a look at this. So we're starting to bring that 32-degree line, you know, eastward here so there it is watch it throughout the night monday into tuesday there's tuesday morning definitely supportive of snow already into parts of pennsylvania and new york here in parts of northern new england now watch that the storm starts to try to manufacture its own cold air especially back towards northeast pennsylvania upstate new york initially here's tuesday look at this this is where some of the heavy snow will be falling and look at that now, there is some heavy snow that will be trying to fall here into parts of western New England, the Hudson Valley, but initially a lot of that will be melting. But watch how the cold air intensifies here. Look at this. Yeah, this is Wednesday morning. So, yeah, this just solidifies behind it. And as that storm cranks away, we're left with quite some cold air Thursday morning before a big warm-up for your Thursday. And watch how warm it gets Friday. We're going to have the big meltdown. Look at that. 50s there in New Jersey. But look at that. 40s where the snow fell. Mid to upper 40s. That means a big meltdown is coming. Extended outlook for my hometown viewers. Binghamton to Scranton's Upper Susquehanna River Valley of upstate New York into northeast Pennsylvania. Take a look at this Monday through Wednesday. Here we go. We're starting off with a mix of rain and snow on Monday. Transitioning to snow by evening. Monday night we're likely to see about 3 inches especially along the I-81 corridor from Binghamton down to Scranton. Take a look at this. Tuesday, we head throughout the day, and things get heavier. We think that trough will set up, that inverted trough enhancing the snowfall, so another 6 to 10 inches likely. And Tuesday, we'll have some wraparound, probably another inch likely, so we'll probably bring our totals close to that 10-inch most locations up to 14 inches and the highest elevations and closer to where the heaviest snow bands set up. And Wednesday, some scattered snow showers. Thanks for joining me for this edition of Media Mark's Weather Northeastern and Weather Eastern. Don't forget Facebook Media Mark, Weather Northeastern. Also, Hurricane Northeastern at Susquehanna Weather for my local page. And guess what? MediaMark.com, WeatherNortheastern.com is Twitter at Weather Eastern. Don't forget, question or comment down below. Smash that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell button, share the video, and thanks for joining me.